So let's talk about another slasher that I just watched for the first time, which is Madman. Now, Madman I've wanted to see for a while too, just because that poster looked awesome. And there's a lot of slashers that I will just watch on the stance that it is, it's got a cool poster. And the 80s were incredible because of showing these cool posters that got me hooked to see some of these horror movies. Um, that I still haven't seen some of them I want to see because of the awesome posters. Now, Madman, I like the opening titles a lot. That was really cool. It's got this orange and black, kind of like Halloween looking, but it's black on the outside and the inside is a shape of something while it shows the credits go up and it makes that noise whenever it shows the name Madman and then it shows the credits. That was a really cool opening credits. I really enjoyed that. Um, and like a lot of these slashers, it starts at a campfire. And this guy is singing this story instead of telling it, which is kind of odd. But that fits with how weird this movie is. This movie is fun because it's just so odd. This is an odd movie. Like, I, like it reminds me of Sleepaway Camp, but it's really... Like, Sleepaway Camp is hilariously awesome, and this one is hilarious too, but it's... Not in the same way. Like it's hard to explain. Like as I tell you this, maybe you'll understand. But but they talk about Madman Mars, this guy who's like living out in this house, like in the woods. He's a backwoods guy. Um, and there's this one kid. He's like, Madman Mars, come out! And he throws a rock at his house. And the and I love how the house is a is like the the whole like house how it looks is blue and the whole screen becomes blue whenever it shows the house and like they're just at a campfire so it's not the killer blue. I think that was a cool distinction between showing how scary the house looks to like where they're at. Um, it's like the house has its own like aroma around it that looks scary. Like I think that's really cool. Um, now here's where I'm going to talk about why this is like Sleepaway Camp. I think it's funny like that but it's not, it's not as well like mixed in terms of tone. This one is so odd. All these actors are terrible, but they are hilarious. There's this one scene that I'm going to mention first where there's this couple in, like, bed and have sex. Uh, or, wait, no, actually, I'll talk about the one where they're at the jacuzzi first. Um, there's this couple inside in a jacuzzi. And they have this cheesy romantic music, which is awful. And these two characters, you know, in a movie like... You know in a horror movie where they're in like a jacuzzi and they're going to move closer to each other to get closer? A uh, couple. In this one, the couple, it shows camera shots where they're on both sides of the jacuzzi just going back and forth, just moving back and forth away from each other and just smiling like they're getting closer to each other. And it is so weird. And it has got awful, awful, horrible music. I want, <laughs> I want people to see this movie just for that scene alone. Um... But it is such a weird ass scene because they're getting farther away from each other and then they get closer to each other at the end but they're just sitting on the opposite sides of the hot tub for like it's so weird I don't get it um, and then there's one shot of these two characters like say for example I'm laying on the ground right now and somebody's head is right here but their body is there like they're laying back the opposite way of me on the ground you see two people talking like it's a like they're talking quietly to themselves camera up two other people are doing the exact same thing next to them it's so weird like they're just laying next to them talking to them as well but the first camera shot made it look like it was just those two and then there's four people and it made it really funny like they're doing it in a self-aware type of way like this movie is supposed to be stupid and, and I like that because it's fun it's really stupid fun um, and there's this girl who is awful and I love her. This big, this smiling girl. She just smiles the whole time. And there's, she's with this other guy and, and their dialogue is terrible because she says like, I love you, do you love me? And he's like, yeah, I love you. And then she goes, oh, well then I don't have any doubts. What? <laughs> I don't have any doubts now. Um, and then there's a girl playing with flowers where, you know, a girl picks off the flower stems and just says, like, or the flower leaves and just says, he loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. And then she pulls out the last one. She's like, oh, he loves me. And I'm just like, the acting is so over the top on purpose, but it is hilarious. Um, 
And then there's a couple gonna have sex. And this girl Stacy comes in the tent doors. And then, uh, then the, then the guy character, like the guy and the girl, the guy character who's gonna have sex, he looks at the Stacy girl who puts, pokes her head through the tent. And he just goes in a TV sitcom type of way. He just says, Stacy, don't you ever knock. And then, uh, and then uh, she's like, oh, well, I need blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, okay, we'll be right there. And then they get on to having sex. But it's just so hilarious. It's just so weird. The acting in this is awful, but I love it. It's so hilarious. Um, then, like, that one girl who's hilariously bad, the one who says, like, I have no doubts. Like, she, she like, gets killed. But like, but, like, before that, she does a smart thing. Like... For this madman who probably, I don't know if would check in the fridge, she literally runs through this house where the madman attacks, and she ju she throws everything out of the fridge on the floor, and then just hides in the fridge. And of course he gets her, but I was like, that's that's a stupid way to hide. Um, and then, at the end of the movie, it's just like, there's one person left, and like, the only thing he says is like, he lives, but he's like... Madman Mars is real. Madman Mars is real. And then, like, it just shows his face while it shows another image in between of, like, Madman Mars just walking. And that's how it ends. And it tries to be really, really serious whenever the killer is on screen, Madman Mars, but whenever he's not, it is hilarious. But I will say that this this has some awesome kills, though. Um, this person getting slashed in the throat is really good because... It's this guy opens up a door, like a pantry, and Madman Mars is in there, so he just slashes his throat, and his organs start coming out of it, like, underneath his chest. Like, it's just sitting there, like, right there. It looks cool. It looks really gross. There's just one guy, too, that gets hung, and it's really, I don't know, it really kind of creeped me out. The deaths in this creep me out, but the movie overall is hilariously awful, but it's awesome. Um, and then there's this one girl who, like, puts her head in the car hood, and then... Man in Mars slams the head on, or slams the car door, hood door down, and then her head just her body just falls back, and her head's in the hood. <laughs> like that's hilarious too. And then that one girl, the horrible girl that says, "I have no doubts," she gets axed in the chest, and it's really good. And she, and she still goes, she just smiles like this, like, and like dies. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, and then there's somebody gets inhaled, impaled on a hook, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it's pretty creepy. Like, I actually thought that was good. So, overall, this movie is awesome because it's got terrible acting, like, so fun, so hilarious acting. Like, people, you gotta go see this. Everybody go see this. Um, but, and it's got some good kills. Like, it does, even though some of them are silly. But it's got good kills, really good kills. And it came out in 1980, so... It is hilarious. Like, I love this one. This one is so fun. Um, Madman Mars was actually kind of scary, but then, like, everything is ruined by this terrible acting and the cheesy, purposefully cheesy acting. But that made it have charm. This was a really charmingly fun movie. So I really enjoyed this. If anybody hasn't seen Madman, go ahead and see this. This was really, really awesome.